you all techies out there would like to welcome you all on my youtube channel white high security here on this channel we focus on real technical configuration related to cloud cloud security network security and, and many more technical topics so yeah without further delay let's get started with our topics for today and yeah i would like to thank you in advance hello everyone uh, so on our agenda today we are going to the investigate pillar of microsoft sentinel where we are, we are going to learn how to investigate into those incident how to handle those incident how to react on those incident so basically if i talk about this particular screen once again we already covered collect phase and then we already covered detect phase in collect phase we kind of you know connected all our data connectors then in detect we you know discussed about analytics and hunting we discussed you know how to create analytic rules from scratch what are the pre-built uh, you know analytic rules there in the sentinel and how to use hunting to do proactive hunting for threats so we have now arrived at the third pillar which is investigate and in under investigate we have incident so let's quickly go and check you know how we can investigate uh, to our incident what is the step by step process how we should deal with all those incidents which are uh, continuously happening to our environment so here on the sentinel portal we can see uh, there are incident available based on the data connectors we connected and the analytic rules we created so let's see what is the process to you know uh, investigate uh, uh, these incident and what are the different options which we can you know uh, take to manage those so basically uh, if you want to review those you can you know simply can you know get the idea from this particular uh, portal itself like it's a low severity incident it's a medium severity incident this is the incident id this is the incident title and this is the product from which is coming in and this is uh, the creation time and the last updating time and you know this is not assigned to any user at the moment because i would show you how to do that so basic information at a glance you can get it from here so let's click on this one so whatever incident you want to investigate click on this one and first of all you can click on this view full details and it will take it will take you to the incident page so similarly here you can also you know uh, find the description of this particular incident you know uh, what are the entities involved in this let me just quickly show you i will tell you about uh, tell you more about these entities how we can correlate this one again credentials and you know uh, the tactics and techniques we defined on to those analytic rules once we created those and all those things so similarly if we want to you know uh, investigate more into this uh, incident we can click on evidence so in, if you click on evidence it will uh, take us to the actual logs where we will see what exactly is happening so basically just give it a little bit time to load so as you can see uh, the results are there the evidences are there so basically somebody is trying to you know get into my virtual machine from these you know hit and trial uh, accounts you know so you can see the reason user log on with misspelled or bad password but they don't have the password so that's when it is you know kind of alerting me that you know somebody is trying to get in with these accounts it's a you know you can say a tree attack kind of a thing where somebody is trying different username and password combination to my machine so basically that's how you can get more details you know uh, into an incident you know what exactly is going on who is trying to get in what are the accounts ips and all that stuff involved you can open this one and see more details so basically this is the windows event id you can learn more about this uh, online that what exactly this event id is for the account which uh, which someone is trying to get in with this particular account again log on type name network all those information are there reason you can see user log on with misspelled or bad uh, user account so basically the user account and the password is not matching workstation name for which it is coming windows vm and then again all other information like start time and time computer again similarly are coming here that you can check and you know i get the visibility similarly from which ips they are trying to get in you can you know get it from here as well similarly these are there are multiple uh, uh, like uh, attempts to get into that particular uh, of windows virtual machines from different ips you can say so here already there are uh, different ips mentions uh, in this particular ip address list there are three ips there this one ip is also there from which they are trying 
similarly you can you know copy this ip and check on on a portal like uh, virus total so if you you know search about this particular ip you can see this particular ip has been uh, you know reported as a malware and it's coming from poland so similarly you can you know investigate you know from where the traffic is coming to your virtual machine from where they're trying to hack it and you know apply your controls uh, based on that like similarly conditional access policies and all that stuff similarly if i check the other ip as well it is coming from which country is this estonia so again this has also been marked as malware ip so uh, we can see that this is a malicious traffic which is coming to our virtual machine it's pretty much clear third one if i also check this is not marked as malicious by any any you know uh, threat intelligence database but again it's coming from china and i can understand you know this is again a malicious traffic i so based on these things i can understand that you know i don't do business in china poland or you know estonia so based on that i can you know uh, take my decisions that you know uh, these are the countries i should block and all that stuff so basically you can get the idea from these logs what exactly is happening let me show you some other ways as well where you can go so in not not all of the incident will give you this evidence you know uh, evidence uh, option uh, there might be incident where this evidence tab will be zero so in that case what you can do you can go to alerts and you can click on this alert event id similarly it will take you the logs page uh, once again so if you expand it you will see the actual query behind this particular alert so if evidence tab is not there you can grab that query and run that manually and you should see the same exact results let it load i mean it's been a little bit slow so if you expand this one after click on clicking on the alert id you will see this extended properties and here you will see this query which is behind this particular alert or you can say analytic rule so this is the logic which we discussed once we once we were discussing or uh, the how to create analytic rules so basically similarly you can take this query and simply run it so yeah, as you can see by running that query we can see same results you know whatever we uh, reviewed uh, earlier as well so here you have administrator and all the same details so this is another way that once you don't have uh, this evidence you know uh, evidence uh, option to click you can just uh, go inside the alert and then copy the query and run it and it will give you the same uh, information as an evidence so yeah that's the another way uh, and, and a very good way in you know most of the cases where you need to find you know dig into find threats and vulnerabilities into your incident there is one another way if you see this investigate uh, a click you can click click on this investigate and it will give you a kind of a very good graphical uh, investigation uh, you know uh, plane to investigate into your threats so as you can see you can just drag and drop these basically this is the alert and these are the entities involved in this particular alert so similarly i mean you can uh, click on this one and see like what are the alerts related to this particular one and again i mean you can see this uh, virtual machine is there you can see related alerts uh, assigned ip and all those things so it's a very good way to just you know see more information and you know collaborate with each of these entities so if you click on this one you will see that uh, these are the just a second let me close this one so you can see these are the alerts again related to this particular pc again i mean similarly you can see uh, about this one as well what are the related alerts and you know all those things let me just maximize it so yeah, it's a very good way here you can see uh, the timeline you know on uh, like uh, uh, how it happens like first what happened then you know uh, step by step uh, visibility into your threats so that you can see here information about the alerts host name and all those process name and all that stuff is there then you can search about the entities like what are the accounts ips and all those things involved and little bit you know help and insights are also there we will more uh, look into this later uh, once we will investigate another alert but again this is a very good way you can say you know to correlate all those entities between each other from this particular option so yeah, let me go back to the uh, incident once again let me quickly show you entities 
so basically entities like we discussed once we were creating you know uh, the analytic rules that you know how these entities works so uh, we discussed uh, you know uh, like incident enrichment in that part so like this is the same exactly part of where we see these entities so basically if i once again go to sentinel let me just quickly show you sentinel and uh, i will go to my workspace for sentinel then i will go to analytics and i will go to the rules which we created and we discussed about uh, those things so we just like we kind of created this brute force against a cloud pc so let's click on this one and if i click on edit so basically uh, if i go to set rule logic and if i go to entity mapping in alert enrichment so same thing we mapped up here will be shown here in this entity tab so whenever you are investigating this particular incident or any particular incident you can quickly come here and see what are the you know devices accounts ips and you know other processes are involved in this particular alert so that's what we did uh, while we were creating this particular uh, analytic rule so it is the use for uh, uh, this 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 one like this these entities will be shown here while we will you know whatever we will define in this particular option will be shown here so so yeah let's understand like whatever entities we will define here in alert enrichment exactly the same entities you will see here so that's the advantage of you know mapping entities that you can quickly come here on entities and you know kind of a verify for which account username or you know ip it is coming for so yeah that's the use of entity mapping or alert enrichment let's go back and you know uh, investigate one more incident to be uh, very clear about how to investigate let's take this one this is failed logon attempts in auth prev so basically this is for linux you can remember we added uh, those facilities for syslog auth prev auth and all that stuff so let's go and investigate to this one as well view full details uh, it will take you to the investigation page let me again quick click click on this investigate and you will see a very good correlation of all those you know alerts entities and you know other things involved in for in this particular alert so this is the alert we can just you know quickly uh, if you want to map it in a, in case an actual you know breach this is very helpful to you know correlate all the signals so this is the alert basically this is coming for this vm and this is the Uh, ip address of this particular uh, virtual machine so basically quickly you can see uh, so suppose i mean in case of an actual breach uh, i received this alert for this particular vm i and i think this is compromised so basically i can go here and see are there any other you know uh, alerts for this particular vm you can see there are 50 more alerts related to this particular vm similarly i can do for this ip as well then you know what are the related alerts uh what are the you know host this ip is me assign to and there are more options which you can you know take advantage of so similarly you can you know uh, make a pattern or you can say make a good correlation of your all the signals so if i click here it will again open all those alerts for this particular vm which we are receiving so let me just uh, close this just a second it is not responsive okay so yeah if you click on this one you will see that it will list you all the other you know related alerts to this particular vm similarly to the ip address of this so yeah this is again a very good way to correlate all the signals so basically this is you know uh, used in attack kill chain so attacker will not you know uh, stop uh, after you know compromising this virtual machine he or you know she will go to extend uh, uh to you know uh, compromise other uh, resources into an environment so that's where uh, you can you know take advantage of this uh, investigation pane and you know can see what exactly is happening so once this is compromised what is the signals from this particular machine from this ip and all that stuff so basically it is very helpful in case of an actual breach let's go back once again and see the same things which we did for the last alert so let's go to the evidence this uh incident is for the linux machine which you can see that are uh, 
uh, one of the Linux machine which we connected in data connector phase for syslog. Let's see what are the information it is giving us for this particular alert. Let me close these quickly. It just takes a little bit of time to load uh, for the first and second time specifically. So here you can see that uh, uh, this is for Linux VM. Total logon attempts were 16 and these are coming from this IP. This is the private IP of that virtual machine and this is the name. So basically someone has, has you know, tried to access this machine 16 times from this particular IP. This is what we are getting from here. Again, similarly, we can search this IP on virus total or some other threat intelligence uh, threat intelligence portal and see from where it is coming and you know take our actions accordingly. Similarly, again, I mean, if uh, those evidence buttons are not there, you can go to the alerts alert ID, uh, ID and similarly can you know or run that query. Again, entity tab, like we already discussed, whatever we map in this entity mapping alert alert enrichment will be shown up here so you can see the host name and the IP is there what whatever we define similarly uh, we will discuss about incident workbook and you know all those things little bit later but you can you can get a very good description and all those all those things about this particular incident so yeah this is the way to you know uh, investigate into a particular incident let's quickly move like you know how we can assign a particular incident or you know how you can close and what are the other things is there? So suppose I have investigated into this particular incident. First of all, as a SOC engineer, I want to assign this to a particular team. Like there is a Linux team, separate Linux team is there. So you can go there and you know can can assign to uh, that particular user. Like I click here and apply. So basically, this will be applied to me. That you know, or uh, white eye security. You can see right now that you know this is the user. I want to assign this particular alert. Similarly, again, you can change the uh, categories or you know status from here, like new. When this incident will come, it will be new state. So once you are investigating this, it will be, you can mark this as active, like this is assigned to me and I'm actively working on this one. Similarly, if you want to change the severity based on the alerts property you saw, you can change it from here as well. After that, once you have you know finished your investigation that you know this is a false positive or benign positive and all that stuff basically you can go to actions and from there you can you know again you know try to run different option which we will discuss later like running a playbook you know automation rule and all that stuff investigation kind of a thing is also there but again i mean uh, we will discuss these actions you know advanced things a little bit later but suppose you have investigated uh, this particular alert and you think this is a benign positive, false positive, nothing suspicious going on. You can simply click on this one. You can go to actions and you now you will get, you know, similar options, which we just now discussed. You can similarly assign it the incident from here as well. And then in its status, you can click on close that. OK, this has been investigated and now I want to close it. Select classification. You can, you know, uh, select the classification based on the nature of this particular incident like it was a true positive it was a suspicious activity you remedied that it was a benign positive that you know it happened but you were expecting that so you can choose that again these are the two categories for false positive if you are not sure you can uh, choose undetermined but yeah that that is that should be not uh, that should not be the case every time because we should be aware about the uh, the nature of the incident you know how it is happening and what kind of a a process it is following and you know how it's, if it's a true positive or a false positive so basically you can select select any of those like i selected true positive that this was a suspicious activity someone was trying to uh, log into my virtual machine and i have blocked those similarly i can put that same command i have blocked the ips from uh, the from the attack was coming so similarly relevant uh, uh, comment you can put and apply so now this incident will be closed so that's how you can react or you know manage those incidents so you will see that incident is gone now from these so basically from here you can you know uh, filter your incident like you know if you want just you want to see the high category you can select high you just want to see medium you can select medium and click on okay so it will only list the uh, incident with medium severity 
if you want to see all of them you can select all sim simply similarly uh, there are status by uh, filtering uh, also possible like new active and close so basically uh, the when when the incident will come it will be in new state events uh, you know somebody will be assigned to this particular incident and he or she is working on this it will be into active state and once you know investigation is completed and you are good to good to close or you know or uh, like you are with, good with your investigation you will close it that will come to the close category so let me show you just we now close that particular incident uh, and if you want to review that you should click on close and it will be there like this particular incident is closed now as you can see the status is closed so basically that's how you can filter or you know manage your incident like you want to see only active incident you know which are assigned to you you can click on click from here and you know that will give you the active incident list right now there is none so that's how you can you know filter those basically there are there is you know more filters like product name so whatever product uh, or the data connectors you can see you want to see incident here you can just select that and apply so it will only show you those incident there are more filters like you know owner so suppose you want to see whatever incidents are you know assigned to you it's just one and that is in close so let me select close as well so you will see those incident here as well so it's the it's a way to you know manage incident uh, how you can close them how you can assign them how you can change the severity how you can filter those there is one important thing uh, is there which i want to tell you this timeline so basically from whatever range you want to see the incident on this particular portal you can select those like 24 hours 48 hours 7 days 14 days or 30 days so similarly whatever is your requirement you can just select that and you know hit refresh so it will list you the incident from last 30 days which are assigned to me and you know are in uh, like close status if i select close there is only one at the moment but yeah you get the idea that how to filter the incident you know uh, based on our requirement so yeah this is basically it for you know how to investigate uh, those incident and you know how how we can take advantage of or this uh, graphical interface to you know how to manage incident how to close them and all that stuff so yeah that's it for this video i hope this has been informative to you and i would like to see you on the next one thank you